channel. I did terrible last week as far as vlogging and taking photos daily. I didn't get a chance to take really any photos. Like, I'll insert the ones that I did take. But I just kept forgetting because, like I told you guys, it was my first week back to work. So, I'm heading in for my first day of work. My first day back. First week back to school. And my mind was just all over the place. So I just kept forgetting to take a daily photo. But as you can see, my swelling is still going down. Like everything is still coming together nicely. Um, I go and get the slant taken off uh, next Tuesday, um, which I'm really excited for that. What are you doing? What are you doing? My kids are wondering what I'm doing. I'm making a video, guys. What, a video? Yeah, I'm making a video. Is that okay? Is that okay? All right. But anyway, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to take a lot of photos or anything, but to be honest, I don't really feel like a lot happened this week. Um, I'm still in the same position as far as like everything. But I will say, like, I just really noticed this. I feel like when I wake up in the mornings, my face is really, really stiff. It's like, I don't even know. Like, my lips, the top of my lip. Oh, God. Go give me some tissue. And that happens, too. So, I don't know if you guys noticed that. But, like, some snot literally just rolled down. But I don't feel it until it hits my lip. And it didn't fall on the food, okay? So relax. Not to mention I'm the only person eating this, so. But yeah, so that is a big problem. Like, I hate that. Like, my nose just runs out of nowhere. Like, and like I said, like, I don't know until it hits my lip. And people really don't tell you. People don't tell you that you have something on your face. So luckily now it's just clear snot. But in the beginning, it was like actually blood. Like, and so I would be walking around with blood right here and nobody would say anything. Like I would notice until I see somebody I know and they're like, you know, you got blood on your face. And I'm like, no, I didn't know. So that's probably like the most embarrassing thing ever and like i said people i don't know they just they don't say anything like i was i was in the airport and i was all through the airport and nobody said anything to me until i got like i was about to get on the airplane and the guy who was checking the tickets was like you know your nose is bleeding and I'm like, thank you so much. So, that's pretty much, like, the biggest, like, downfall of this whole thing. Like, it's just really embarrassing. Like, people tend to stare a lot. But, uh, yeah, other than that, and I guess probably, like, in the beginning, it's, it sucks that you can't do everything that you normally do. Like, you know, in the beginning... I was watching my family. They were pretty much having like the time of their lives, what it seemed like for me without me. And um, I couldn't go because at the time my face was so big, like I didn't want to go out in public. Like I didn't go out until my face really went down tremendously. So today I'm preparing my meals because like I told you guys last week, I went back to work. So when I first went back to work, I was not prepared. Um, so, you know, it took me some time, but I had to like prepare some meals because, you know, even though we have a chef at my job that cooks every day, I can't have a lot of the stuff that they make. They did make some banana pudding last week that was amazing, but... Um, for the most part, I can't have what they eat. So, I am going to make me some uh, potatoes, eggs, um, 
and sausage. So what I do is I'm just going to cut the potatoes, take the skin off of them, and cut them up really, really small. And then make the eggs and then the sausage, same thing, cook it and then cut the sausage up really, really small. And then um, I'll put some cheese on top of all that and probably some sour cream just because I love sour cream. And um, it's actually really good and you can just swallow it. Like you pretty much can use your tongue and the roof of your mouth and you still get that full flavor and you just swallow it. You don't have to chew. But the key is you have to make sure your potatoes, that you cook them long enough. I'm going to show y'all what the masterpiece turns out to be. So, here are my potatoes that I am cutting up. So these are going to be for the entire week for me for work. And then for my lunches. I'm probably going to do some sort of pasta. I was thinking some, um, I was thinking some salmon alfredo because I can get down, you know, those like short noodles. I don't know what they're called. I'll show you guys, but I can swallow those with no problem. No noodles. Noodles, I can do, but it's really messy and I just prefer not to. Um, noodles are by myself, nobody's looking, nobody's watching me type of thing, but the, it can be done. Uh, but anyway, and then make the salmon, and then normally I would just put the salmon on top or like on the side, like a whole piece, but you know, since I can't swallow, I'm gonna, uh, you know, basically chop it up into the, um, chop it up into the alfredo because you know salmon is pretty soft so and i had some the other day like the where i got it from they cooked it a little too long so it was it was overcooked to me but they let me know that i could do this so so i have my cast iron skillet and i put some oil in here I'm just going to take my potatoes. I already let this heat up. So just take those. So I'm just frying them a little bit first. And then I'm gonna put some water in there and let them simmer down and get nice and soft like I need them. Okay, so here are my potatoes. So they are nice and soft for me. And then I also did some eggs, and I did some shredded cheese in those. And then I got my sausage that I already cut up. Okay, so I'll do a layer of potatoes. So here is the final product. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanted to do something a little bit different. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and comment. And, of course, as always, I will do my best to answer any questions you might have regarding the surgery or anything coming up you might have. Let me know. Thank you.